Steve Evans, that was quite a statement. Well, we beat a good team, haven't we? I think you can see clearly in periods in the game, particularly in the first 45 minutes, that Pete's done an outstanding job and you can see why they where they are on the table and how they beat teams. Um, but I thought we played in spells in the first half, but all of the second half we played with a, a real application to, to win the ball and to pass it around and to move them around. And I think we we done that with a plume and we had a number of individual and I suppose a team collective performance that would be described as outstanding. It's a difficult kind of game because they're a, probably a different sort of side to what you'd normally play. They're in your face, they're nippy and quick and don't give you any time and your team had to overcome that. Listen, the managers come from Halifax and uh, to Barrow and any manager that I spoke to that when Pete was building a really good Halifax team, they were energetic, they were aggressive, they were strong, they played passionate football. And when he got the job at, um, at Barrow, I can remember saying to people, I don't know him from Adam if he walked past me, but I know about Halifax and I've sat in the stands, watched them home and away and I see the teams he builds, so he's he's taken them to Barrow and listen, they'll have a few days off after the, after the weekend and um, they'll be back on it next week. But that's not my concern, my concern is us. We made some changes tonight that I, th- that I think that we wanted to make reflective of us doing the homework and I think particularly the two or three changes we made, every one of them was outstanding. Some goal to get you going, wasn't it? That's a, it's a fantastic goal. I'm right behind it, obviously, as you are. I think it's difficult for Paul Farman to go because it moves three times. It moves to the left, to the right, to the left. And and I've and I seen the goalkeeper just shrug his shoulders because he, he couldn't have saved it. I don't think many could. It just, just the ball, the trajectory of the ball at Durham and, and the strike. But I, but I thought uh, Reevesy was, was outstanding all, all evening. There's been some criticism about perhaps so many chances but unable to convert. Tonight it was four chances on target that were registered and you've ended up with five goals and put that with last week it's a clinicality in there isn't it yeah I think there is I think I think the boys are we keep saying we're we're playing with limited numbers in terms of totality in the squad we got two or three players on the bench tonight that would have played if we had to play them but in an ideal world we didn't want them on the pitch Danny Rose being one um, you know Jake Taylor being another Reedy and Arthur Reed being another but we introduced some players and, and they helped create some great movement, some great passages of play. And, and to be fair, it was it was as dominant a second half performance as you could wish to see because there's always going to be a counter attack. No matter what play, they play on the counter. They're always going to be a counter. They've got really good players at the top end of the pitch. Mm. Pete knows it, but listen, he's a, he's a young manager, but you know they'll they'll go away lick their wounds and and bounce back on Monday. We we've, we've just got to take this level of performance and. See if we can re- replicate it in a big game next week here against Mansfield. Jamie Reid on the score sheet again, as was Luke Norris. It's his 100th career goal and his 100th start for Stevenage. I thought both were terrific tonight. You know, I think there was a there was a big call. You know, Danny Rose was, was really impressive the last couple of days in training. Mm. Um, and it was a big call. So, as always, as a as staff, we, we debated it long and hard. And, it, and at five o'clock, I called it that we'd, we'd stick by the boys that... I thought we were outstanding at Kingsland last week. And I'll say at Kingsland are not a conference north side, they're a conference national side by player and by size of club. So from that point of view, it was um, it was good to see those two boys walk so hard with lots of energy in the first half and have that effort and energy in the second half, but with a little bit of quality in it and a goal or two. Players will go for their Christmas party now and they've deserved that. Yeah, it cost me £250 <laughs> three weeks ago. and um, But I paid them yesterday, so... I was I was relieved when they put in that type of performance. But they'll have a couple of days now. There'll be nothing crazy. They'll have Saturday, Sunday, and we'll bounce back in at the start of next week and go back to work. But they've this group has earned it. This is this is a tremendous group of players, tremendous characters. Their ups and downs, you know. Um, we've not seen Dean Campbell, have we? The best player of the park tonight. Him and Reeves, both exceptional. So we, you know, we we're, we're working hard. We all the group. And we said we, I think Paul Rader said to the players afterwards, we don't, we do not care who we pick when it comes to picking the team. We do not care. We respect everyone, mm. but we pick a team that we think can do the job. Well done tonight.